All right, you guys. So this reading will be for Leo. Leo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. All right, Leo. We're going to see what's going on with you guys and what's coming up for my Leos. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. All right, Leo. We're going to see what's coming up next for you guys in the month of October. Leo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. All right. Tell me what's coming up for my Leos. What's coming up for Leos? All right, Leo. Ooh, we got the four of swords. Hmm. I'm saying like you're asleep, Leo. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There's something that you're healing from as well. Like I'm saying, healing energy, okay? You're trying to let something go or you're trying to get past something that's, you know, been heavy on your mind with the Four of Swords. I'm saying that also, Leo, you could be asleep and you have a dream about someone or something that you healed from, okay? I'm saying like a song that comes on as well at nighttime, or you hear, you hear a song out the blue that remind you of someone or this person with the Four of Swords energy, Leo. Okay. I'm showing healing heart. Having to heal your heart, your feelings, this connection. Tell me more about this Four of Swords energy. Tell me more about the Four of Swords energy. Yeah, didn't I tell you? There's something or someone you had to walk away from that you did walk away. You, walk away. you walked away from something that was no longer serving you. It didn't serve you anymore. The Eight of Cups energy. So you could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. Doesn't have to be. I'm saying the air sign, moon, water sign, moon, Venus, or rising. So what I'm saying is like, like I said, it's like you're, it's like you're gonna be thinking about something or someone. This song pops up in your head as well. Are you dreaming about this? Five of Cups. Gee, Leo. All right, Leo. We're gonna clarify deep, okay? We're gonna see. We're gonna dig more about this, okay? It's something that you heal from. You you heal from past wounds. You heal from past connection, and it pops back up. It pops back up in your head, and you feeling. It's like you're going to be feeling so much regret or crying over spilled milk or looking back at what was lost here. Watch out for the number 85 or 58, 485, 584, 885. Tell me more about this for my Leos, okay? Tell me more. Tell me more about this Four of Swords. Wedding rings, union, marry. Oh, okay, Leo. You could have found out that this person was in a connection. Ooh, Leo. So if someone did you dirty or did you wrong, it's like you're having this dream about this per person. Whatever they have going on, you dream about this person. It's like it's just like you're becoming more intuitive. Okay, when it come down to them. Okay, this is what I'm seeing. Okay, tell me more about wedding bells. Heartbroken, y'all. You cannot make this up. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. So I'm telling you, it's something that you had to heal from. Heal from what this person did, what they done to you, what they said to you. It just left you in this heartbreaking energy. We have here deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving. Warning over this person that you're dealing with, okay? You see something in your dream that brings up past wounds, past connections here about this person. Give me another card. Y'all, look. Look what's on the bottom. Separation. Yeah, it's 
It's just like something is being down. But yo, we're not in Mercury retrograde no more. But look, Leo, you know, the past shows back up. It shows back up in your life. Something that you walked away from. Something that you had to let go. So tell me more about this heartbroken. Mm. We got passion here. So... You know what I'm saying, Leo? This person could have hooked up with this person for fun. I'm saying like a one-night stand situation here. And you you could have seen this on like social media online here. And it made you, you know, feel this way, okay? It's like you have to heal from, the, from, from this person. And what I'm saying is like this person was doing things for this person that they didn't do for, for you. Like I'm saying, like, Leo, if you want a higher level commitment here, this person was giving this to another person, and it just left you in this energy of heartbroken. You, it, I'm saying, like, heartbreak here. So I'm saying, like, you're going to heal from this. Like, I'm saying you already healed, but, like, I'm saying, like, something comes back up. It comes back up past wounds, past connections. When it comes down to this person that you're dealing with, this energy shows back up. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Leo? I'm going to just be real. Like, come on, car, come on. Put it back, put it back down. What I'm saying is just like, this person was having different options here. And you closed that chapter out real quick, okay? I'm saying like, you let somebody go real quick. Somebody who, you, you know, you're. it's just like you're not allowing yourself to become second in their life. Okay, because it's just like this person had too much going on. They was out there doing them, y'all. You get what I'm saying? They was out there seeing other people, and it, it just caused manipulation. A lot of manipulation here. And guess what, Leo? You seen this? You seen this online? You seen this on social media? I'm saying like somebody could have came up to you and told you this about this person that you're dealing with. Okay, so I'm saying like past wounds, past connection is coming up all because of this dream. Or you think about this song when it comes down to this person. Yeah, like something like I'm saying like you ended things because this person that you're dealing with was dealing with other people. It's just like Leo moving forward, you're gonna be feeling this regret. Like, it was it the right idea to let this person go? Was it the right idea to leave this person alone? It was it the right idea to stop calling, testing? Was it the right idea to block this person? It was okay, because it's like you're allowing somebody to play with you, they know what they're doing. You get what I'm saying? When we meet people and they just do you dirty, we be thinking that they don't know what they be doing when they really be knowing what they be doing. They want their cake and eat it too. Pisces Council Energy, y'all. Yeah, this person wanted to be a player. Talk to other people. Yeah. And you know what? What, Leo? You want to know the thing? They was talking to other people. Like I'm saying, like this person did this a lot, okay? And these people don't even want them. Imagine that. <laughs> Imagine you land up in a bed with your man, right? Okay, listen, you land up in the bed with your man and they phone go off, right? They phone just go off and you check their phone and you you seeing that this person is talking talking to multiple people and they getting ignored. Embarrassing. That is so embarrassing. <laughs> Leo, that is embarrassing. Like I, I'm telling you. Like, I'm saying, like, this person was getting curved by so many people. Like, people don't even want their connection. They don't even want the love. They wasn't even giving you all the love and affection. Somebody who they were supposed to be giving it to. So, if you want to, you want to, if you made the wrong move by blocking to this person, closing this chapter out, you didn't, okay? 
This person is for the streets, Leo, for the streets. All right, Leo, this is the only thing I have for you. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you.